on this episode we are going to be sharing what we have been watching on netflix series movies documentaries and at the end of this video i'll talk about the cj walker self-made we're going to talk about how netflix had portrayed the story and then what the reality really is Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie. I'm a London-based content creator. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about binge watching. Whatever it is you guys are watching, we're going to share. You're going to share in the comment section, and I'm going to tell you what I've been watching so far. For some reason, I don't know if you guys have noticed, the Spanish movie industry has kind of taken one quarter of Netflix. Like you see this nice series with nice storyline, lovely looking actors and actresses, and then you start playing it. I see people's mouths moving in a different direction from what you're hearing. So there's been a lot of Spanish stuff, and then you can't even escape because some of them are really nice so in this my list there are going to be some spanish series as well so this following series i have watched and i'm prescribing to you to watch because i think they are worth your while good girls the crown and with an e bonfire of destiny good witch okay good witch is one series i've been watching for years now you know those series like jane the virgin that you just watch easily because you don't need to pay attention so when you're just feeling good and just calm to be honest most of the series i watch are like that you just watch them so that's how the good witch is it's just calm and nice and then i just watch one episode do something watch another episode i just keep dragging it because there's no it's not thrilling or anything it's just relaxing so yeah um good witch green leaf oh yeah green leaf is like ministries pastors and stuff in fact i don't want to describe any of these things i'm just telling you so trust me i'm going to watch them Riverdale. Riverdale is high school kind of thing. There's also one called She Dares as well. It's currently showing now. I've been watching Bits and Bobs, but Riverdale has kind of a nicer storyline. Money Heist. Yay, I'm sure you guys have heard of Money Heist. If you haven't watched it, you should go and watch it. It's quite thrilling and yeah, it's, it's interesting. The new season is coming soon, so quickly watch um, Money Heist so you can catch up once the new season starts. You. That's why will you. You know, that's guy. <laughs> stalker guy yeah you is, is is a good watch very good watch queen sono set in south africa you would enjoy this series if you are really pro-african pro-black and stuff like that very good acting queen sono how to get away with mother i forgot to mention that to be honest i'm still watching that thing but it's one of the series we just get bored and they go back into it but it's, it's a nice watch how to get away with mother dynasty so just like money haste dynasty is i think dynasty has even filmed the third is it the third or fourth season just that they haven't shown it on netflix yet they just put it on their tw but it's going to come to netflix this april so yeah you should just catch up so that you can watch it's an easy watch as well Okay, so that's it for the series. I'm sure there's more, but I don't want to bore you guys or give you too much of a long list. We'll probably do this again to catch up. Or when people comment stuff on the comment section, we can get other ones from there. So reality. I know a lot of people are skeptical about watching reality TV. People just think it's a bit distracting. You don't get anything from me. Da, 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 da. But yeah, I still have some reality TV recommendations. The first one is Love is Blind. Even if <laughs> you don't watch TV, I'm sure you'd have heard the reviews from Love is Blind. Yeah, you could try that out. Next one, I would say Love Island, Love Island UK. Love Island UK last year was actually more interesting than the one of this year. So you can watch the one of last year and then just come and catch up with one of this year. So if you're in the mood for all these love shows, yeah, just try Love Island UK. And it was shot in South Africa for the winter season. So yeah, that might be worth the watch. RuPaul's Drag Race. I've just seen like two episodes of this one. Um, so, but yeah, if you enjoy things like that, you know, um, drag people are quite, they kind of inspire you because they take things to the extreme so much. So it just kind of inspires creativity, to be honest. So if, if you're the kind of person who doesn't mind of drag shows and stuff, you should watch it. Oh yeah, so I forgot this one while I was recording. Next in fashion, it's absolutely amazing, especially if you're a fashion enthusiast. I watched this to the end and it was just dope. We'll go to the Spanish series, Queen of the South. It's not a new one. It's one I've been watching for a while. I don't even know if I've finished Queen of the South. But yeah, it's a good watch. Um, Toy Boy. So Toy Boy is a Spanish series, as I said. So the first Spanish series is Queen of the South. The second Spanish series is Toy Boy. Toy Boy. Yeah, <laughs> Toy Boy. <laughs> third one is cable girls oh my god cable girls i watched cable girls i think last year i done season one and two and then season three is now here so obviously it's about these people that really do how ladies were back then and then things they just did to to be loud and just give us a lot of 
privilege right now to be honest so cable girl is a very 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 good watch i think you should see it but it's in spanish so you have to read a lot of subtitling throughout your watch elite okay so elite i just tried to start it yesterday but it's a spanish one as well i haven't really got into it but it looks interesting so yeah i thought to mention then unorthodox yeah it is very short it's easy to watch i think it's maybe it's top seven episodes but it, the story is really really good so let's go into movies guys to be honest i don't really have a long list for movies if miracle in cell seven watch it it's a good watch it's sad it's sad that's all i'll say i don't spoil anything just watch it you might shed a few tears while watching this movie next movie is laundromat laundromat is it's a good movie it has Meryl Streep in it so obviously you know it to be a good movie but it, it just touches i don't know it just went to different aspects of life somehow it's not one straightforward plot but it's worth your watch for documentaries i've watched a lot of documentaries guys but one i would say i'm still watching and i think i'll recommend to you is the extreme by reggie yates he touches a lot of things he's gone to see african churches he goes to different places so i think that one is quite packed full so it's something good um, you can watch there's so many lovely documentaries on netflix but this reggie yates one really stands in my head and yeah i think you should watch it i told you guys i was going to talk about self-made towards the end of this self-made um, is a story is a true life story based by a book when i watched this series obviously the short series as i said it was really inspiring obviously i love the fact that i saw a black woman winning you know becoming an entrepreneur apparently according to guinness book of records she was the first african billionaire but then again i said we did much more about it when i when i was done with the movie when i was done with this series and i found that there was a lot of um differences from the reality from to how netflix had portrayed this movie so yeah i just thought to address it because i saw a lot of people were even complaining i think even the people from the city where one of the cast originally was from they were very happy the way she was portrayed so um i think you should watch self-made i think it's very self-made but um, i'm just going to tell you just a bit of the synopsis of it so if you do not want any bit of spoiler spoiler is not going to be much but if you don't want too much maybe you should just switch off from the channel Thank you for watching but if you don't mind stay tuned and keep listening so netflix itself may tell the true story of madame cj walker but not everything in the four part limited run series really happened based on the biography on her own ground written by her great great granddaughter Ailey Labondo. So in real life, Madame Walker, born Sarah Bredlove, was indeed a pioneering businesswoman. She had walked her way from nothing, running her own Walker manufacturing company, a hair care empire. According to Guinness World Records, she was the America's first self-made female African American millionaire. Academy Award winner Octavia Spencer plays the very real Madame Walker in Self Made, that's a series on Netflix. The supporting cast includes Sydney Hardish, Bear Underwood, Carmen Ejugo, Kevin Caro, Garrett Morris, and J. Afonso Nicholson. In this series, Walker's first rise to fortune begins in 1908 in St. Louis, where she was already in midlife. That already is inaccurate <laughs> because she wasn't living in that city at the time. So, how much else did Netflix actually get wrong with this story? Self-made Adi Monroe was an Itombo Malone in real life. Malone was as equally an entrepreneurial force as Madame Walker, even more so considering the latter had stolen the former's original hair grower formula. She herself is a self-made millionaire, having an empire worth an estimated $14 million by 1920. That success is never brought up in this series, which portrays her as an outright villain. So that's the thing that was quite irritating about it. First of all, this um, Malone lady, she's in real life, she's actually black, but in the series, anyway, they didn't use her real name like the real person's real name in the series. I guess Netflix knew they were just trying to create more drama just so that it would be more interesting. So in according to Netflix, Madame CJ Walker was a wash she was like a washer lady for this Malone lady and then she used the lady's product, it worked in her hair. She actually helped her sell about twenty tins of the thing and then came back and wanted to like continue selling but the lady thought she wasn't good looking enough to sell it and things like that and then it just made them just build a lot of animosity so most of the drama just came from that the both of them fight fine in real life they were both business competitors as you don't think should be but they were both succeeding but the way netflix portrayed this thing you think like when it comes to like black people just one person can succeed that's it like we don't have enough coins to support all our black people you know that kind of death say us <laughs> though it happens with you know light-skinned dark skin that, that i don't really see that much happening in my life to be honest but yeah clearly something that happens and then netflix just sat down and milked that drama instead of 
showing the fact that there can be two successful people in the same industry who are black women you get that's why it gets very annoying because instead of making the woman look very somehow as a man lady meanwhile in real life she's actually apparently she's actually the first real billionaire anywho fine there was a rivalry and stuff but the way they put it out was just like it was because of looks and then they just made one person look so bad or the other person also netflix didn't even talk much about um madame city walk i think the marriage the husband we saw was actually a second husband i guess they didn't want to go too much into that side of things so that's fine and then she had, she didn't even waste time divorcing this one when she found out he was messing about one of her interpret one of her staff and then he was also an alcoholic so did you really see that part but then again i think it's a lovely movie to watch um, it's just that people who are from the St. Louis or wherever, they're not really happy with the way it's portrayed. And even me, like, you can't be, you know, portraying things like that. Two African women can do very well in their lives. Anyway, you guys should watch Self Made. It's worth the watch. Hopefully, something else grows from this because at least they were able to get so many people's attention with this one. When it comes to YouTube, I'll suggest Skinny Girl in Transit. <laughs> If you haven't watched Skinny Girl in Transit, the other seasons, I think they're on season 6 now. So just start from season 5. You don't need to go back, back, back. And then the thing about Skinny Girl in Transit is sometimes they drag the scenes. Like they'll be in one scene and be doing, like, so you can easily fast forward and stuff. But yeah, it's worth the watch. YouTube, YouTube as in content creator wise. Yeah, Metro Gypsy channel. Make sure you stay tuned to my channel. Click the bell button. Drop a comment if you want to, but click this thumb up button whenever I finish watching any videos. In fact, first, I just click the thumb up button because it really helps the video go round and round. Also, on YouTube, you can watch Wendy Williams if you like gossip. Yeah, Wendy has plenty of gist, so you can watch Wendy Williams show. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're staying happy. Hope you're building relationships. Hope you're making use of your time. Like every single day, I write what I achieved that day. Try and be accountable of this isolation period because it's something I'll probably never happen again hopefully yeah so thank you so much for watching um see you on the next episode bye bye